Hello, I'm going to show you how to connect your Facebook Messenger bot to a Facebook ad right here from ManyChat and your Facebook Ads Manager platform. So I'm gonna cover a lot of stuff here. Feel free to rewind this video a few times, get all the information that you need, and we'll go right into it. What do you think? So after you've created the flow that you wanna advertise, so let's say it's a, in the, in the case that we're going to use for this example, I'm going to use a birthday coupon bot at a coffee shop. So in this scenario, a local coffee shop could run an ad that targets people based on their birthday coming up. And then if they click on the ad, it's going to drive them into this bot to get a coupon for a free coffee so that they come into the coffee shop. That's the scenario I'm using here, but you could use it for any scenario that you'd want to drive somebody into Messenger. So uh, please don't get hung up on the nuances. Once the flow has been created, the first step you want to do is come into the Automations tab inside ManyChat, and you want to go to the Keywords tab inside ManyChat. And I'm going to create a new keyword rule, and I'm going to enter a keyword. I'm going to call it uh, it's my birthday. That's enough characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we're good. So you could have only 20 characters in a quick reply button. We'll get to that later. You got to keep this to 20 characters or less. I'm only going to do one variation of this keyword in here because as you'll see as we get to the later steps, um, this exact phrase will be supplied for somebody inside the ad and all they got to do is tap a button. So I'm going to create that keyword. Once it's created, I have to connect it to the proper flow so that when this keyword is used, that flow will fire. So I'm going to select existing because it already exists. My flows will pop up. This particular flow for me is in coffee bot folder. And so I'm going to find the proper flow for it. In this scenario, it's called coffee birthday delivery flow. I'm going to click on it. It confirms by giving you a preview over here on the right hand side and then you have to select this flow to connect it. That's it as far as being connected to the keyword. So now this is already set up on the keyword. Now we're going to jump over into the ads manager for building out the ad campaign. All right, in ads manager, I'm going to create just a test flow. It's not going to, I'm not really going to run this thing. I'm just building it out so that you can see how this system will run for you. So I'm going to click create and it's going to set me through and allow me. I mean, it depends if you use quick creation or guided creation as to what your window will look like, but essentially these same options are going to be the ones that you're going to be going through. So I'm going to name the campaign test coffee birthday. I'll name the ad set as coffee birthday ad set and name the test ad test coffee. All right, so everything's named, but before I leave here, uh, your campaign objective is an important thing that you want to set. So you have two options as to what you want to use when sending somebody into Messenger from an ad. When I click this drop, drop down here, you, you can leave it on traffic. That's one of your options. Or you can select messages. Now, what's the difference? Messages uses Facebook algorithm to find people who are likely to want to have a conversation with you inside Messenger, whereas traffic the Facebook algorithm tries to find people who are likely to click your ad. See the little difference in nuance there? So one's looking for people who are likely to send, to have a conversation with you in Messenger. The other one is for people who are likely just to click your ad, not necessarily wanting that conversation in Messenger. So which one's better? It's really something you gotta test. I've had 50% of the time, one work better than the other, and it just really depends. Sometimes you got to run a campaign in each and find out which one gives you a better conversion rate and go with the winner when it comes to that. Because in the world of digital marketing, it's all about test, test, 
test. So when using messages, the cool thing is, by the way, Facebook's ad platform will not serve this ad when you have it set up this way. It will not serve this ad to anybody who does not have the Messenger app on their phone, which means the user experience is going to be fantastic because they click the ad, Messenger app pops open, all the conversation happens in there. You don't have to worry about a weird, clunky system because if they don't have the Messenger app on their phone and they're using mobile when your ad pops up, it's a really terrible experience. So um, it will filter that out for you. But when looking at the difference between these two different campaign objectives, um, the way to set up the ad is identical in both. There's only one difference between these two campaigns and the difference is in traffic. There's one extra setting that you have to do to make sure that this is a messenger campaign over a link to your website campaign. And that's why I'm going to use traffic to show you how to set it up. But you could essentially replace either one of these out for most of the steps. So I'm going to save that to get it to the next step. It's automatically going to pop up this campaign window, which means I could go back in there and change my mind at this point. Again, I'm going to leave it on traffic because of this one step I'm about to show you is the reason why. So let me close this. I'm going to go into the Add Sets tab and oh, left it untitled. Interesting. I'm going to go into the Add Set and hit an Edit, this little Edit guy, and it pops open the Edit window. Now, because I use traffic and I didn't use messages as the objective last step, you got this little block here that's called traffic. And you have to choose where you want to drive traffic. Now, obviously, we're not going to be using an app because we weren't, that's not the purpose of this. In general, people send people to a website, but that's not what we're doing in this scenario. We are sending them to Messenger. So we're going to select that. So that's the one setting that's different between using traffic and messages objective. All else is the same. You'll put in your budget, put in your, your date. Um, if you have a schedule to set it to, you'll put in your schedule, add your targeting, all that's very important stuff. But when it comes to connecting many chat, all these things are just the same as every other ad that you're going to do. So we don't need to cover that here. So I'm going to close this window and go into the ad now, because this is the next place of where things are going to happen. So inside the ad, um, it starts off just like it normally would be, like you normally would say, I'm going to actually connect this to my page so that I can show you an example of this in action. Uh, so, you, you know, you give your ad a name, make sure you're connected to the right page if you're managing multiple pages. Um, and then you would just start building your ad as you normally would. You can use an existing post in some scenarios, but we're going to go through the create ad option and I'm just going to use an image and trust me, the stuff I'm building out here is not actually uh, for the coffee bot. I'm just using placeholder images in here just to show you the functionality. All right. So I'm going to select an image to put in there. I'm just going to pick this sleeping guy. Oh, that actually kind of makes sense on workout equipment to put in the image. Uh, in your text, you would say something that makes sense for your ad. If, um, happy birthday uh, to celebrate, we are, uh, I forgot a comma. Coffee at our coffee shop. Get it uh, about app download now and we'll send it to you in Messenger. I'm typing this out because setting the expectation of where you're going to do the next action is pretty important. You want people to understand that they're going to click this ad and Messenger is going to pop up so they don't think something's broken as they're going through this scenario. So you, you want to click that and tell them that they're going to get it in Messenger. And I'm going to put and download your coupon in Messenger now. This part here, in case you're not familiar with the ad setup, that's that's what put in right here. And um, I also sometimes throw in a little emoji pointing over at the button. 
Now our button right now says send message. I told them to tap download now, send message, not the same button, don't wanna confuse it. So you're gonna open this up and you're gonna look for the, uh, oops, sorry, they don't have download now in this particular version. So I'm gonna change that to get offer and come back up here and change this, oops. So that it all makes sense. There we go. Telling them to click the get offer button, as you can see on the right hand side. So all this is the same as normal ads. If you've ever put ads together, nothing here is new. It's not rocket scientists. The only scientists, it's not rocket scientists. It's not rocket science. The only difference is you're telling them where they're going to get it in a couple places just so their expectations are managed. But where it is different, when you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you've got this little thing called messenger setup. Here's where you're connecting it to the bot that was built in ManyChat. So it defaults you to standard template. You don't wanna use that. That's terrible, it doesn't do anything for you. So instead, you're going to use custom template. So you select that box, this is an old one, I'm gonna actually clear that out of there because we're not gonna use that. So this is how it should look if this is the first time you're coming in here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to create new. So I'm going to click that and a new window pops up. Now you may, heard of, may have heard of Facebook JSON ads it's a tool that you can build in ManyChat, not something that we covered here, but if we were to use that style, you tap this button here, this is where you would paste that code. I'm only briefly mentioning it just because I wanted to just show where that option is. But we're using a keyword to launch the bot. That's the important part here. You can name your template. We'll call it coffee coupon or something that makes sense to you. And you have some options. In the welcome message, you have the format of text only, text and image, text and video. I find what converts very, very well is using text and image. So I click that and it changes up what you see on the right hand side. I tend to just delete this default greeting that's in there. Boom, don't need it. And then I come down here to the image section. In the image section, you wanna use the exact same image or a video still that you had from your video ad, or if it's an image, the exact same one from the ad. So I'm gonna select the same one so that there's congruency. When they click it, this pops up, it feels the same. It makes the same sense to them, you know what I mean? So then in the image title, you can give them the directions of what to do. To get your birthday gift, tap the it's my birthday button below. Now, why did I put this part right here? Well, if you remember from way back on the first step, that is what we built for the keyword. It's my birthday. Now, in ManyChat, this is not case sensitive. So it doesn't matter if it's capitalized, whatever the case. It's not case sensitive. So we're using this exact keyword that we're going to put as a button here, as a quick reply button here in the ad. And I capitalize it just to make it stand out a little bit. And then when you scroll down the customer actions, you have options in here, quick replies or buttons, or it can insert your frequently asked questions. Mm -mm, we're using a quick reply here. So you're gonna add a quick reply and paste in that exact key phrase. It's my birthday, which will then make it appear as a quick reply button up over here. The reason for that is a quick reply works as if the person typed that text into Messenger. Messenger receives that as if the user typed it. So when they press this button, it's as if they came to your Messenger account and typed in this key phrase, which is then gonna go through and launch the bot connected to it. So in this, this is all set up now, and this is all I gotta do to connect the bot to it at all, is just make sure that this button has the key phrase that will launch it. And when we preview this in Messenger, which I'm sending it through, and then I've got to, sorry, I'm gonna move myself off the screen a little bit here so you don't see my past Messenger contacts and such for their privacy. So then, Right here, I see some past information up here, but this is what the ad sent to me. And uh, I can move my face back in here for you. Um, this is what the message had sent to me um, to get your birthday coupon tap. It's my birthday button below. And when I do, that flow that it was connected to, boom, launches, 
and now exactly what you want to happen is happening right inside ManyChat. So that's how you connect your messenger bot to an ad using a keyword. And in my experience, it works with much better cost per acquisitions than using the JSON ad tool, plus the JSON uh, growth tool that you could use as an alternative um, has a lot of restrictions with it. That growth tool, you can only use up to 150 characters in it, no emojis, no personalization, and still sometimes it causes errors. This is why I use the keyword tool every time and just trigger the bot from a keyword and set it up like I just showed you. So it's my opinion of the way to do it. Hopefully this video was helpful to you and will answer some questions when trying to connect your Messenger account to an ad. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.